Hello and welcome everyone. Here we are. We're back for some more modern. If you've been watching this channel for long, you guys know I love my weird janky four or five color control decks or mid-range decks. Excuse me. This is no exception. I love Niv Delight, which is Niv Mizzet and Bring Delight. Uh, this is another Yorion Sky Nomad deck. Once again, Yorion really the only companion that's honestly worth still playing as a companion. Um, at this point, Larissa is just so much better just playing it in your deck. Um, yeah, so we got some weird ones. Uh, I don't even know what Shattered Assumptions does. Oh, okay. That's like pretty good. It's Tron. Alright, um, yeah, 30 lands, 4 growths, 4 sprawls, 2 birds, 3 bring the lights, 1 Eldrami's Crawl, just the way to go search for a. Niv Mizzet or Uro or one of our bullet, silver bullet creatures. Um, one Terminate, one Abrupt Decay, three Assassin's Trophies, three Ren and Six, four Lightning Helix, two Season Pyromancers, two Teferi Time Rollers, four Kaya's Guile, one Unmoored Ego, one K Command, one Clothus God of Destiny, one Renegade Rallier, four Uros, two Restos, the Kiki Jiki, Supreme Verdict, the Huntmaster of the Fells, the, uh, the cool. The cool art one, in my opinion, the better art. Um, of course, our three Niv Mizzets. Post board, we have a Boil. Keep in mind, we have effectively four copies of Boil because they bring to light. Chroma's Dust, same thing. Deafening Clarions, Veil of Summers, three Fatal Pushes, Shattered Assumption, Ashiok, two Camball, or sorry, one Camball, one Kunaros, Hound of Athreos. Um, Vigilance Menace, Lifelink, Creatures and Cards in Graveyard, um, can't enter the battlefield, and players can't cast spells from their graveyard, and two disputes. So, this is the deck. Um, we're going to play through a league, see how it goes. I hope we do pretty well. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and yeah, if you guys want to see your deck played on this channel, go ahead and check out my Patreon. For just $1, you can get your video played um, on the channel, or... There are other options a little bit higher up, give me a little bit more room or more decks. Um, check it out. If you guys are interested, go ahead and hit me up there. If you guys are interested in just a one-time deck uh, donation, go ahead and message me on Patreon or go and message me on Twitter, comment on something on Patreon or comment in the YouTube videos and let me know and I can we can talk then. All right, let's hop into some matches. All right, on the play here for round number one, I'm gonna reveal good old Yorion. Yeah, this hand rocks. We're gonna rock it. Let's go. Yep, I'm gonna go fetch a forest. Alright, now our opponent's thinking we're red green mid range, which is good. Discard spell here would suck, but it wouldn't be the end of the world. Yep, goodbye, uh, red. Actually, I might, they might just take Niv Mizzet. We already have basically four mana. Even though it's a Niv Mizzet, might be more dangerous than taking anything they, else. No, they choose to take the Ren and Six. I guess they have a follow-up discard spell here. Excuse me, sorry. No, I'm taking them with it. That makes sense. They have a second discard spell. Third Thoughtsies. All right. Bye bye, Assassin's Trophy. I'm 
I mean, that's the one we want. Yep. Again, really wish we had access to that Niv Mizzet, but this is okay. Or the Assassin's Trophy still, but it's okay. All right, we got white, black. I guess let's grab this one. This is the blue source. I mean, this is probably a stubborn denial, right? Like... So it's very important, unless they have a stubborn now, they do not cycle it now. They need to wait until I go to Red and Six. Yep, here comes the cycle or whatever. No. Wow. White, blue, green, red. So it seems to get black or white, basically. Yep. Good with me. Unfortunately for me right now, unless they have Land Drop, Grimag Angler, or another Death Shadow, our Bring to Light will resolve. It's going to stub me for one. Well, don't get me wrong. Those are all usually cards they're playing four of in their deck, so they're already down one Death Shadow. I think the obvious choice is to take Bring the Light. Nope. I guess that's their plans. They're gonna try to They are going to try and stub me, huh? This doesn't matter when we fetch. Yeah, let's go there. Bring the lights. Obviously, they have spell pierce. We're kind of screwed, right? Like that's just kind of an obvious thing. Triggers. I mean, that's kind of lame duckish, but that's fine. That's still three really good spells. Um, also to note, I took the Abrupt Decay because at this point they go Death Shadow and hold up Stubborn Denial. 
they can counter the Assassin's Trophy. Toward now, our Abrupt Decay is uncounterable and it can kill their stuff when they untap. So, also, how far away from just Urrowing? I guess pretty far, huh? Yeah, because this is green, blue, blue, green. But then I need one more. See, so, yeah, now this can kill this through a Stubborn Denial. Uh, Vista. Let's go on record as stating that I love decks like this. I would say, yeah, they could have a protection spell here or something, I guess. But I can't think of what it would be in blue or black. It would actually be, like, protection. Um, so these are all the cards I can see having value here. Um... Again, not a huge fan of the co this combo here. Um, not even fan of Renegade Rallyer. I like K Command because it is. This does can become a game advantage quickly. So we can trim a Birds of Paradise as well, because Bird is likely to die on us. Helix doesn't seem as good. I guess let's just do that. I think every single card we just brought in is more valuable than every card we took out as a whole. I guess the combo is still technically okay. But I actually don't want Unmarked Ego, and I don't think I actually care. I'm bringing back the Renegade Rallyer. I don't know. It's got a lot of value to it. It can do a lot of work. Okay, so this can go with the Abzan Triome. That's a good draw. Yes, I think I'm going to go get the Abzan Triome with this. No. Yeah. Let's go to blue source. Scare themselves, all right. I mean, I'm happy to see all that gone. Hmm. The goodest one, Eldarmer's call yet. Angler with stub back up. All right, dress mode. Presume we're gonna just lose the fatal push. We're so far away from bringing the light. No, take the old drummer's call. I don't know what creature we have in our deck that they're thinking of that we're not. That is scary here.
Whatever it is, I'd love to know. Yeah. So we're missing red. That's gonna be the color we're gonna be missing here for Niv at the moment. Did I take out Assassin's Trophy like a dumbass? I did not. Okay. Here comes a Grimag. Yep. Saw that coming. All right, we got to draw land here, I think. Fortunately, that's not good enough. Would have fetched it the other way around. I guess no, because I still would have. Then I would be missing white completely. Yeah, they definitely have a stubborn denial. There's no way they don't. Yep. Alright, so I'm going to try during their turn to guy, Kaya's Guile them. Yep. Stubbed, just like we thought. Mm-hmm. Yep. Red. So the tumor battle rage were just pretty much dead, right? All right, they don't have it. I could have like disdainful stroke. Yeah, dress mode me. Take Niv. I mean, take bring the light. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for one mana, it's highly unlikely to have a way to counter Niv. I guess I could have had Dispute, actually. Another Uro. Alright, we've got a handful of cards here, so... But we're still just dead if they have a way to kill Nivma, is it? Mm. Cut and rest, drop, kill and rest over here. 
The next turn, just as long as it's the Kai is Guile them. They actually go to one if they have a team or battle rage. Which is interesting. It's frustrating that we're sitting here on double, uh, yeah. Sucks to lose the Kai's Gal here, but it's okay. It's far from the end of the world. We could also just have him dead with an attack and a helix here too now. That appears to be the line they're playing around. Each one sacrifice creature, I gain four life. Obviously, if they have double stub A, that sucks. But B, you got me. And C, um, yeah, it was well played. All right, I'm going to fetch, get a forest. Blue. Do they have hasters? Is that a thing we got to worry about here? Like, that's not right. Like that, that's I'm not crazy. That's not a thing we have to worry about. I think it might be. All right, they concede. Moving on to round number two. All right, reveal our Yorian. Hmm. If we had a third line, I'd keep this. You know, we're on the draw. We got two removal spells. I'm going to roll with it. Yep. Uh, yeah, we're going to get the Triome, the Abzan one. Yep, and now, guess what we're not going to draw? Not going to draw land number three. We 
Yep, that's super upsetting. Mm. Yeah, this is... This is easily the wor one of the worst, uh, fuck me. Seriously? I feel just manually good so I can feel good about conceding going in the next game. Since I screwed up and this should have gone in the forest. Please. Alright. There's that. Again, I have no interest. This little combo. Um, sh oh, no, they're probably playing, um, whatchamacallit, Stoneforge. Uh, I guess we could have. I'd rather have Season Power than Hotmaster. Let's go there. Yep, that was a shitty way to start the game, but oh, Camball should come, or Kunos should come in over uh, probably the Renegade Rallyer. Maybe. Actually, let's do that instead since Kunos is not not a one-sided effect it does affects us too yeah Mulligan. Yep. Yay, useless island. See, I didn't know I was going to draw on the land, so that's why we didn't keep the... Uh, Oh, do you really have Spell Snare? Wow, nice. Nice. Spell Snare, baby. Or Spell Pierce, I guess. Spell Pierce is less nice. Yeah, we couldn't counter Stoneforge Mystic anyway here, so it doesn't matter. Yep, that was pretty cool of them. Man, I uh, I always hate not being the deck that's the control deck whenever I'm playing. I feel so miserable not to be the control deck. Mm. 
Mhm. Yep. I mean, it was obvious I had that, like... Alright, I'm over here the whole ass... Companion, and I chose not to go and uh, chose not to do anything with it. Like obviously, yep. Yep. So they probably have cryptic command, right, you think? Trust it. Both this plea on mana leak. Actually, I can pay for the mana leak if they have it. Actually, so mana leak's fine. Yep. And if they escape Earl, we'll abrupt decay it and then eat it. That's the plan at the moment. It feels bad having lost game one here. Opt. That's weird. All right. Uh, on the bright side, they can't leave up Veil of Summer. Oh, they can. Dun dun dun. No black arc. They can still stop green. Duh. So we gotta do it with its triggers on the stack then to minimize the opportunity of them to have Veil of Summer. Because trigger goes on the stack. Because now they have three cards. That's it. That's all they get is three. So it's very important because all I get is three cards now is to hit uh, Veil.
Yep. Now, if you're asking why we uh, didn't uh, didn't wait till they finished fetching it, it's because I forgot that we can pay for mana leak. Oh, we couldn't have. This land was from the field. It's because we couldn't pay for mana leak. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Mm-hmm. Guess. Well, I actually don't think I want to blink out. I don't think I want to play this instead. I got actually rather... Yep. Crypto command. Alright, I mean, we definitely would rather resolve the season pyro in the long run. It does suck how well they've just rebuilt their, their board after, uh, after boil. Yep, that also sucks. Batter Skull. Sort of fire, nice. Nice. Yep. Come on, opponent. Play a little faster. Play with some urgency here. Nope. Unfortunately, doesn't quite jive with that. We're also way away from actually doing this, getting this Uro going. Yep. Uh, needs to be blue. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. Actually, 
Take this off. Yep. The next turn, we can get that, uh, that going again, because we should have... We do have a breeding pool. It's not what I wanted. Yep, there's another land. Okay. Bold choice. Let's do that, I think. I think Earl's a little bit better than uh than one mana ramp source. Wish our opponent was playing with a little bit more urgency here, though, to be honest. I mean, not a huge fan, but we'll keep it. We have access to Kaya's Guile. Not positive yet if this mystic dispute is gonna be enough. It's getting blue source. Alright. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Yep. Hmm. Let's go season pyro. Dispute. See, look at that. We just drew another Kai's Guile anyway. Sure. Yep. 
Yeah, we got a plus him just to keep him around, and we'll get to kill him with no problem here. Let's want to force a negation us. Show me wrong, that wouldn't be in my immediate decision. I don't know what you win by lucky top deck means. But you're going to take your game back. All right. All right, we're back for round number three here. Mm, nah. I'm mulligan. Guess we'll keep this one. I don't really like it. It's not a lot of action, but I also don't feel like we can just mulligan this hand just because it doesn't have a lot of action. Okay. Forest Noble Hierarch makes me feel like it's Infects. Use this deck seriously. Take one is my guess. I'm going to fetch the Abzan Triome with this one. We could Utopia Sprawl here, but I'm going to pass right now, holding up this Assassin's Trophy. Because I don't know what they are. But I'm super suspicious. Yeah, I mean... Go this breeding pool. Main board veil summer. No, okay. Go there. Red. Also go there. All right. We have four mana currently. We're missing a double up white or double up black at this point. Or technically, I guess double up green or double up blue because of the abundant growth. So like an Uro ramp deck. Thankfully they can't get to Uro yet.
Let's see if they have an answer to Niv. All right. I mean, I'm happy with that. Ice Fang, sure. It's a pretty good reason not to care about Nim, is it? Still one card away from actually getting it back. Not anymore. It's a fairy time raveler. Booyah! Bounce my Niv. Oh no, bounce the Utopia Sprawl. Alright. Okay, so let's go there. Okay. I'm a fan. I'm a big fan. Okay. Yep. Hmm. I need to land. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Mm. This is so bad. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We can't cast anything anyway. This is so irritating. I hate playing against these band decks. They're just not fun. It's the fairy, honestly. That's the part that's really not fun. Um. Yep. Show me a sword one time. Yep. <clears throat> Yeah, we're just not beating a sword here, so that's just not happening. Um, Disputes, Clarion, Veil, Oil and Ashiok. Again, I don't care for that part of the deck. Hmm. 
Maybe Kai's guy is just not good enough. Yeah, it's, it feels pretty bad when you resolve a nib it and you still lose. Right, I'm going to keep this hand. Don't think it's great, but I think it's fine. I wonder if when we go back to Zendikar in a couple, in a month or two, I wonder if we're gonna get the other side of the triomes. So the Jun, the you know the the Allied triomes. I wonder if we're gonna get Allied core triomes next. That'd be cool. Either way, though, I look forward to it. Um, new Nissa stuff like this coming to Zendikar. At least I hope a new Nissa. I would assume. Yeah. All right. Yep. I mean, regardless of how this game goes, this deck's been this deck is super sweet. I really like it. Um, again, I love playing these piles. This is just fun little pile decks. Please be a bird or no pile. Yes, I love you, opponent. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Pony. You rock. Alright, we untap. Draw. Not bad at all. Alright. Nice thing here is we still have uh, Mystic Dispute mana up. Because this can get Breeding Pool. Obviously, if they like fail us, stop us from fetching, that sucks. They did not. Get the other Triome out of the deck. Again, against decks like this that play Path and Field Ruin. We just want to get every single bit of value out of our cards as we can. Actually, throw that back in our hand. Just do it now. We're not going to spend all this mana anyway. I don't care about that. Quaddle doesn't matter to me. Unless you were to go like blood braid it, <laughs> a quaddle attack to try to kill Ren Six, then I'd care about a quaddle, but Alright, draw for turn. Bring the light, eh? So what do we think? What do you think? They're gonna have mana. They could have mana leak. Five, six, seven. That's seven mana. Yeah, let's pass. Sure. 
Yep. Yep. All right. Let's bring the light. Awesome. I will take it. I think maybe with seeing that, we might want to entertain the idea of some of these. Maybe not all of them. Maybe just one. Skag Teague's a pain in the ass. We do have a lot of stuff to deal with it, so... That's a mulligan. I think that's what I want, because at least with this specific setup, we're more likely to be able to play the Kaya's Guile. Damn, that sucks. Oh, no, 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 F5. Nope, no, no, 5. Because if they go Ashok, we're dead. We're just auto-pass here. B Skull, Agent Doctor Skull, Yeah, unfortunately, this is just not going to be good enough. Yep, goodbye Noble, hello 1-1 one, one Flyer. Really? Alright. I mean, obviously it's very likely we're just going to get Teferi punched in the face here, so... Uro. Sure.
Yep. Well, I'm glad I did that now because now we can try to get rid of this stupid batter skull with the fairy, I guess. Now we can beat Mana Link. We can't beat Force of Negation. Now we can beat, though. Yeah, let's do that. Sacto Coatl. That's surprising. I guess they want to make this as big as they can to keep attacking with. I mean, I guess technically speaking, I am at eight. Okay. Some. A bold turn opponent. Right, let's try something good here and get this game over with. Yes, actually, I think that's perfect. Barring a force negation, believe it's exactly what we wanted. Yep. All right. Pulls down two cards in a batter skull, three cards in a batter skull. Yep. I still need to draw another uh, Fetchlander Forest. Sure. Yep. And with the way that was, we knew they couldn't have a Force of Negation. Because then we knew they only had Batter Skull and one unknown, which means I didn't have blue colorless card. Alright. Again, the sword doesn't give protection to the, from the spirit, so... Uh-oh. Shark Typhoon? Yep. I figured it's only a matter of time before they drew a card that we were going to have a problem with. Nice.
Yep. We have another forest in our deck, right? Oh, nothing else. We have a stomping grounds, right? Right, that's what I wanted. I'll just mill them. Yep. Yep, thank you, opponent. Um, yep, birds, boil. Pick back up the breeding pool. Play it. Exile your grit, your uh, graveyard again. Pass. It's fairy. This will be bouncing my arrow. Nice. Yep, I like it. Uh, green, blue, blue, there's that, and concession, alrighty, I'll take it, 3-0, moving on to the next round, alrighty, on the play for round number four. Yeah, I mean, and looks great. Got lands, board wipes, Tron. We even got a a Mordigo. So. Yep. Gilded Goose, that's interesting. Yep. So I'll know next time this can get um whatever.
Are they going to be a modern food deck? That'd be pretty cool. No Oko, so the one really scary thing they could play this turn uh, in general is not something I can think of. E.E. -E on too. Nice. Does this mean they're Ur they're an Urza deck? Could be wrong. Ooh, I wasn't. They were an Urza Lord High Artificer deck. Cryptics, Emery's, One Charm, One Lonely Sandbar. All right. The four scariest cards in their deck are gone. Ah, uh, they finally got to land. Yeah, run in six. That works. I'm going to kill this. I'm trying to correct what's in there. Deck. Again, still know every card in their hand. We're getting in island. Take a helix. Take a Clothis. Take a Kai's Guile. Sure. Um, so dispute, boils, ashiox. I guess veils because they have counter spells. All right. Um, hot master. This is a less of a guile gale mat or Kaya's guile matchup. Renegade Rally are the same. Actually, let's 
Let's kind of sprawl instead of the uh, hunt master, maybe. Nah, let's just leave our mana sources. Just leave it. Man, we uh, we had a great guest there. That was uh, that was definitely a feel good guess getting the Urza. But I mean, again, I can't think of what other deck Gilded Goose would want to be in. Like, every other Mana Dork is pretty much better than Gilded Goose in almost every other matchup. So I couldn't think of one that, that Gilded Goose would want to be in. I'm going to keep his hand. It's a little sluggish, but... Got the Uro to hopefully speed us up if we need to be... Um... Turk Goose... I mean, this is going to get us a triome here, most likely. Um, unless they just now start splashing black in here. So the ten had a dispute. I, am I crazy or just an idiot? I mean, obviously I'm crazy, but this question is: Am I crazy and an idiot? Yeah, that's um We're hoping they try to slam nothing. We're hoping they try to slam nothing next turn because we don't have a missing dispute. Cause I'm an idiot and thought we did and don't know why. Nice. I think I want to kill the Emery. I want to kill the Emery or the Goose. And is this even better than playing Uro? Let's kill the Goose. Currently all they have right now is EE with the Emery. Okay. Not fully sure I get why that was done that way, but sure. I'll take it. You said you can cast EE from your graveyard with Emery. Yeah, sure. I suppose that would be a fairly good reason to play uh
So we have three cards in hand. I'd love for this to survive next turn so we can have Vela Summer up. But I feel like at worst they're just going to go EE. -E. Pop EE -E here. Yeah, it looks like that's what they're going to do again. Yep. The funny thing is, actually, I couldn't actually do this if they would have killed my bird on time. I mean, yeah, Villa Summer doesn't do anything there, so. Yeah. Hmm. Presume they have a way of drawing a card in their hand. Presumably they have another Aether Gust in hand. Interesting. Yep, Nim is it. Cast Nim is it. That's pretty shitty. But we do not have a Kaya's Guile to fight through their graveyard, so I guess there's that. Yeah. Sanctuary back to Cryptic, presumably. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. Goosey Goose. The goose is loose. It's tag for six, I guess. Um, whites. No, I can't do that. Brand six. Hmm. 
resolves. I'm going to go black, blue. Show me force negation one time. All right, well, now the future fetch lines are not nearly as good. Unfortunately, this is definitely not. Oh, God, that's annoying. It's another cryptic. Wow. I'm not even sure what to say about that one. Yep. Hmm. I am very much so low on resources, but our opponent is lower. Give Arc Magist Charm. I'm just hard cast force negation. That sucks, but it is what it is. So cryptic one unknown. <laughs> but I apparently saw the writing on the wall. Ah, we we're going to lose so many lands, but it was going to be worth it. It was going to be worth it. All right, I guess round five. We are uh, four and oh. All right, let's uh, playing first here. Let's let's right. Let's do this. Is it selected? Yes, it was. Boom! You love to see it. This sounds great. All right, we're going forest. Or not? That's weird. Very important we don't click the wrong land here. Well, that's a utopia sprawl. Ether bottle. All right.
Actually, that'll do. Mm-hmm. Yep, run at six. Put Vista in the hand and pass. Alrighty. Humans. Mariner, all right. All right, let's fetch. Planes. Blue, it's fairy. Yep. All right. No one drop is good for us. Mm-hmm. Mariner again. Manus Rider. Nice. Finish off my Teferi. I like it. Okay. I like Ren Six here. It's a good hit. So I'm thinking we should go land plus one, two, three, four, five. Yep. We could try to go Uro and stuff, but I think I just want to... Do as much protecting my Planeswalkers as possible. Because I think the longer they stay in a play, the better for me. Hmm. Ooh, this is bad if they have meddling mage, right? Yeah, so we can get blown out here by meddling mage, which I didn't think about, but... This is literally how we played this game out, so... Okay. That means I can't cast Supreme Verdict. But I can cast... Everything else.
Yep. Yep, Reflector Mage. Arguably the most useless card they could have chosen to play here. I mean, you take Supreme Verdict, I guess, so that you just don't lose your entire board. But, I mean, even that's not spectacular. So humans, I want pushes, I want Clarion. I think even you are okay, just as a body. Get out of Kiki. Clothes doesn't seem like it's great. Only unmoored egos where it's at. Cut an abundant growth here, I guess. And maybe that no. Maybe a resto because resto ain't that isn't all that great. I don't know. This is tough. If I could change one thing about this deck, I would just straight up change the combo part. I would take out Nimizit or not Nimizit. I would never take out Nimizit. That's the. I'd take out the Kiki Jiki. Probably most of the restos. Abzan land. I think we can do better. I think this is better. Mm hmm. Alright, well, I'd like to fetch the Abzan Triome here if I can. But if I can't, that's also fine. I don't know why I wouldn't be able to, but... So again, I'd like to fetch the other Triome this turn, but again, if I can't, that's fine. We already have basically all the some most of the best cards in our deck in our hand already. Sure, I guess. Yep, I'll take the two. Yep. Okay, well now, as much as I want to push, I think I have to just fetch a red source for this. <laughs> Thalia, or what? Oh yeah, that's fine. I was worried it was going to be something big. Well, I don't even know what 2-drop could be big here. Nanus Rider. Campbell. Alright, 
well, I don't care too much about Campbell. Don't think he's particularly good. Oh yeah, we're we're home free here. I'm gonna take two. Yep. So fetching. Mountain. Push you to death. To fairy, or I'm not to fairy. Season pyro. Discard season pyro into fairy. All right, I like it. Still one land away from Uro, but even if we don't, we have this Helix to gain some life. I mean, we're playing our entire... We're playing either these two or Uro next turn. Kind of kind of don't care what else. That's just how it's going down. It will be in, in, completely dictated on what we draw, but... Kudro would be pretty bad here for us. Mana Shard is worse, though. Believe it or not. So I think I'm just actually just going to do these two. Yeah, I'm going to get a forest. Let's kill that. All right, we're going to pass. Yep, crack the draw card. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Um, get another Niv. Niv. Mm. It wasn't a great hit, but hey, it was still still a hit. Plus, between this Kai's guy and this Lightning Helix, we're going to clean up their board next turn. Eh, 
And I mean, I guess they could drop, they could put two things into play next turn so we could care. But I don't know about that. Mm. Man, we've been on a roll tonight. We've been rocking it. I feel like it was maybe a little bit just, uh... No, I think finding the niv it was the best choice here. Because it gives me the next the most options following in the next turn. Dahlia, sure. Beat eight power, my friend. Nice. Red, white, helix. Oh, I don't have Kai's Gal mana now. Whoops. Um, was there a way I could have tapped that? I would have had the mana. Yes, use this as red. Use this as white. Okay, lesson learned. We should have played Uro. Yep. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'll just go each bone sax creature we gain for life. Arrow. And I concede. All right. Got the sweet 5-0. Booyah. That feels great. That feels really, really good to get that 5-0 there. Um, yeah, I mean, the two toughest matchups we had were the two Bant decks. Um, Bant is a difficult matchup. We lost game one, but came back for two and three. Um, two trophies. Is that the most trophies we I think that's tied for the most trophies we've ever had in one uh one sit down. It's a ton of one trophies. I don't know, for me, like the first trophy's not that big of a deal. The second one's the the part where it's the like really big deal. Yeah. Alrighty, so overall thoughts on the deck, like I said, if I were to make a change here now, it'd be these three cards would probably be changed. Um, also, Renegade Rally. Renegade Rally is a cool idea, but I just, I mean, it does ramp you if you get it in the right spots, but nah, not a, not a huge fan. Um, yeah, other than that, sideboard is pretty good. Uh, I mean, I guess I can see where Camball is good at. Um, pushes were actually really, really good. Yeah, overall, I think the deck was fine. Liked playing it a lot. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Let me know if you guys liked it, what cards you change. Um, yeah, anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next video.